everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York, and I'm a tired lady today. When you see this video, you'll understand why, because um, I will show you what I did, and it was an all-day affair. I um, actually cleaned a lot, but it was a small area, an extremely small area. How big would you say that furnace room is? Uh, probably... Six by ten, maybe six by eight. No. Six by ten, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's not not that big. No, that sounds big to me. <laughs> no, I would say it's probably ten six, feet by six, six, six foot feet wide by ten foot long. Okay. Well, it's maybe eight foot at the moment. I don't know. It's shorter than the. It's whatever the size of the kitchen is in there. That that part of the, the wall. I can measure it if you want. Late, no, that's okay. Um, but anyways, it was filled with stuff, and the stuff that was in there has been in there before 2010. Stuff it was my mom's stuff, yeah. When my mom and dad moved in here, they lived with me for four years, so it was four years before that. So 2006, so probably, right there, yeah. they moved in. And um, my mom passed away in 2010, and this is 2019, and it was in July that she passed away. So it's been there a long time. It's things that I don't use. I have taken a few things from there periodically, but now I haven't taken anything in a long time. So I decided it's time to empty that room out. My husband got me, my husband Jim, you know, Jim. <laughs> No, I thought he was Joe. No, that's my brother. <laughs> okay, my husband got me some boxes, so and he put them in the rooster house, so that I could put the things. I put them in bags because I I washed a lot of them. I had to wash a lot of them because they'd been in there for so long that the dust was thick on them, because I didn't go in there, and I washed up a lot of things. And then I also took a lot of stuff out of my own cupboard. I actually took all the cups. We used to entertain a fair amount the foster parents when they had their meetings. We would be the home that they would come to and we always had to have the um, coffee and the drink, the juice, whatever they were drinking. But um, we had all of this supplies that we would use when they would come. So I decided I would gather those up too because we aren't foster parents anymore so we don't need to have 14, 15, 16 cups up and upstairs or more, or more upstairs that we um, just kept for special occasions and I also emptied out a lot of cups from my cupboard I kept the ones I know my kids like to drink out of and I kept the little cups that my grandkids like to when they come I give them coffee that's an Italian thing you 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 have coffee your grandma or your nana or your nanu or your grandpa whatever you call them they give you a cup of coffee when they're when you're young, very young. It's probably like half a cup of coffee, half a cup of milk. It's more milk actually. I'd say probably Three fourths milk. Yeah. It's a lot of milk. And sometimes he puts a little sugar in it and sometimes not because he wants you to learn to drink it like he drinks it with no sugar. And that's what my dad would do. And so when my kids were um, able to drink out of a glass or a cup they got coffee. I gave them coffee. So about age one and a half to two, they got their coffee. When I had the, this makes me think of something else. I'm going to go off track a little bit because it brought me to another thought. And when I had the daycare, I had a little boy that was really hyper, really hyper. And I had heard that coffee can sometimes work in the opposite direction of making, instead of making you hyper, it can calm you down. And I suggested to the mom, that maybe if she gave him a little coffee before he came to the daycare, he might be quieter. So she decided, I said, you can do it. I can't do it. I can't give him coffee, but you can. So before he came, she gave him coffee and it made a world of difference. That child was not rambunctious. He was playing like the rest of the kids more to typically to what he should have been instead of like a maniac. 
and so she she continued to do that for as off, uh, for quite a while I think as long as he came to me I know she did it and I'm sure when he went to school she probably did it too or by then the child may have liked his coffee I don't know but um, we're gonna see what I did today and um, I hope you appreciate all that I did because it was hard work in fact oh wait before I go I want to tell you I my back was beginning to hurt so what did I do I watched some videos I sat in a chair let me tell you who I watched I um actually watched quite a few of them because I was really 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 hurting my upper back was starting to hurt so I watched the L family it's a family of I believe eight uh, it's it's really <laughs> they're funny she's really good I don't know her name but she's really good at um, entertaining with the kids and I watched um, I watched cooking with Fritzy I watched traveling with Fritzy and I watched life with Fritzy I watched all of those and I also watched body phase I like that couple they're trying so hard to lose some weight but they are and they're funny they're so funny because they'll say things that are uh, just it's those darn donuts every Friday that they serve at his um, place of business whoever thought it Friday should have donuts I don't know I know at my work the new um, director that we had she was starting to bring in cakes and cookies and donuts and things on a Friday to thank us it was a thank you that we did a nice job or we had a good week or whatever but it was actually a, not a good thing because I would go up there and just to socialize and at first everybody would kind of pick on me because I wasn't eating the sweets and I says you know I really don't like those anyways whether I'm on keto or not there's not that's not something I would have eaten and then after a while they get used to you not having it and you just enjoy the company of everybody else well let's my, go my place when they do a He's, luncheon on, on once a month they do donuts in the morning and then lunch at noon yeah they want to treat you nice yeah. they they also celebrate everybody's birthday at your place where well, mine didn't management management does yes yeah. they celebrate the birthdays which is something that my where I worked did not do didn't do that I don't know why I say did not why don't I say didn't I don't know I don't know I don't know. I Did noticed. That is the proper way. Probably. I just, I find myself doing that. Well, let's go see what I've done and then I'll come back and check in. So let's go. Well, today's project is behind these doors. Let me push it open. This is today's project. Look at this. Holy smokes. Here, we'll turn the light on. I don't know if it'll make much difference. There we go. This is the little furnace room. And this is the stuff that's got to come out of here. See, there's my hot water tank. And there's my furnace. And all this stuff has to go. So this is today's project. And we shall take care of it right now. Well, this is what it looks like now. It's really nice. I've only got the things that are actually mine in here now. But I'm not done. This is where all the stuff is now. Oh my stars. Look at all this. This is what came out of that room. All this stuff. It was packed in there very, very tightly. Look at this. Oh my goodness. I took out the one cabinet. But there's more over here. Look at this. Holy smoly. I've got lots to go. And then there was all this cleaning stuff. And there's some stuff that's just got to get thrown out there. But look at this. Can you imagine? Now my job really begins. That took me probably 45 minutes to an hour just to clear it out. And now I'm going to have to clear this out. Oh. Here we go. Good grief. 
The crazies have spread to my kitchen. I decided to get rid of some of the cups and glasses that we've had up there. And oh, look at my kitchen now. It's a mess. I'm still trying. I've taken a lot of it out to the barn, or not to the barn, to the rooster house. And we still got a lot more to go. I'm just now, I gotta take, I gotta take all those cups down because there's, I'm not keeping them. I only want some of them. So we've got to get them down. So onward and upward I go. We're making some progress in here. As you can see, the table's just about emptied out over here. But I've still got more to go here and more to go over there. Oh my goodness. It's a never ending. And then this room is going to stay just like it is. I moved my embroidery machine over there and the dishes that are actually mine are staying in here. But yeah, it's a lot of work. Awful lot of work. And this is these are pots. We save dirt. Yep, we do, and we save pots. See? They're dirt. And that bag's got dirt in it. And then the jug's got plant food in it. Oh my goodness. And then, because you're always looking for ribbons, my mother saved these. They're gonna go. And more dirt, and she put some fake flowers in this dirt to make it pretty. To show you what I've been doing all day, along with trying to clean, I actually have to walk out to the trailer that's over there. This is my rooster tra trailer. And I've been carrying bags. This bag's not as full as some of the others. Usually I carry at least two or three bags. Then I open the trailer up. And then I have to step up. So we will step up. I have a large, it's a long ways. My, my leg is fully extended. Oops, guess what I forgot. I forgot to bring the bag up. What I do is I put the bag up here first. Then I step up, oh, and then I bring it over and put it into the box. A lot of glass stuff in here. Put it down in. And this box I filled already. This one's already filled, and I'm working on that one now. Then I jump down. Ready, set, jump. And down we go. And Jim's making some steps so I don't have to step so high because it is rather high step up. My knee is all the way, I'm, I'm extended all the way up. I'm not very tall. And back to the house we go. Back to the counter's getting less, less stuff on it. Still got stuff though. And this I cleared out. I put only what I want left in there. <sighs> and these have to get back bagged up and taken out. And I've been washing some stuff. And Jake wants to go potty. Oh, you know, when I told you about my kitchen, I didn't tell you. I have cupboards on both sides of this peninsula. I've got cupboards there. Let me show you. Ones I'm showing. And I've got cupboards on this side. Look at that. So if I want to open it up, I don't know what's in here. But we'll find out. Oh, there's my spiralizer. So if I open this side, you can see the other side. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in here too that's got to go, go, go. Oh my stars. People, it is terrible. And this one has a lot of stuff too. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Let me open. Let me open. Let me leave one door opened. We'll leave this door opened. And we'll go on the other side and you can see through. Walk around. Walking around. I think it was this cupboard. 
Oh, that pan's not where it belongs. There you can see the other side. This pan is supposed to have a washcloth under it. And then, oh, this is hard to do with one hand. Oh, and then I lift it and slide it in. There, now it's together. But you can see out the other side. Okay. Another trip out. Out of um, probably eight trips, nine trips, ten trips, I don't know, quite a few trips. Jim has just put some steps up for me. Look at that. I've got some steps. Oh, very nice. Now to put my stuff down so I can open it up. Whoa. And there he is riding on his new toy. I can't see him. Can you see him? Okay. Let's open the door. Oh, this is so much easier walking up in. This toppled over. So many glasses. These were my mom's. I got rid of a lot of mine and I'm getting rid of a lot of hers. Okay, we'll just put that over in case I don't come out again. I have a feeling I will just to keep things clean. Your new steps. I do. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh, it was so much easier going up in. I wanted to yeah. show everybody your. This is the four wheeler he bought that didn't run when he bought it, but it runs now. And it's got, it's got a, a pickup truck back that dumps. He's going to show you, I think. It's got to move the lawnmower. Yep. Oh. Tips down. Uh, Tips down and you can dump oh, all the junk out. There goes the dirt on your nice clean floor that you just swept. Oh, well. Wow. Can I always sweep it again? Yeah, you're going to have to. Okay. I'm going back in. All Thank right. you. Bye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, my kitchen is back to my kitchen. It was a long haul today. And over here, those things that were there are gone. I just have the few things like my peppers and my eggshells. Those have to stay for now because I'm probably going to have them. And there's Mr. Jim. I don't know what he's doing, but he's in the kitchen. Okay, now we'll go see the other thing. And we're done in here. Those bags I've got to put away. It's gotten darker in here. I'll turn the light on. I don't know if the lights will all come on. The one light won't come on. But anyways, the table is now empty. The cupboard has only what the cupboard's supposed to have on, except this and this. This has to go. I wondered where this went. And in here, you turn the light on. Okay. Now the things that I put back in here, I put my dishes back in. I put a few things down on the bottom shelf because they're really not mine. They're my daughter's and a few things up there that are my daughter's. 
And I thought I was going to get rid of this. I'll show you. Not that. I was going to get rid of this. And then I thought, no, I think I'll keep that. It's a root beer mug. I don't know, it's, it's old. My mother has had it forever. And this fork is what we used to stir our pasta with. My dad had made it. Because we used to cook like four pounds at a time. And so I'll keep that. And this, I think it had beans in it. I like it. So I'm keeping it. They say, and the dirt, I put all the dirt together. It's right there for my potting soil. And the scale, I'm going to keep it for a while. I don't know what I'll do with it. This is the scale that I used to weigh the pasta out on when I was growing up. So this is all done. I'm done. Amen. Anybody want a mint? These are left over from my daughter's um, bridal shower that she had here, and she left them here, and I told her, bring them to work. I don't eat candy, and it's still here. Well, that's that. Oh, and that I have to take care of. It's got to go somewhere. And this cleaning stuff I've got to take care of. I'm tired. We're done. It was a very long day. Very long. Well, I really got a lot done. Jane, who is watching, I'm sure, she has suggested that I take, um, I think it was like a, uh, some kind of carrier, I'm not sure, a suitcase or something. I can't remember what she said, how she said it. And to, to, to do that, well, I've taken, I think, a lot more. The wagon load and then some. I made about 10 trips out to that, or 10 or 12 trips out to that building. And when I was cleaning, I have to show you, I forgot in the first half. You know, fruitcake. <laughs> I was trying to find a date on this. This was my mother's fruitcake. They say fruitcake lasts forever. Well, it looks pretty good. It's going to go to my chickens. It's been there. How long? <laughs> she was, you know, it's, like it's, it's at least nine years and then some because I'm sure she came with this or she got it for one of the Christmases when she was here. Somebody gave her fruit cake. So now the fruit cake's going to go to my chickens. They will like it. So that's it. And that's our chuckle for the day, I guess. Fruit cake. <laughs> I'm going to talk to you all tomorrow. So you take care. I'll see you then. Bye bye.